Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having a great day. I'm sitting in the office and I didn't want to kick off the normal camera equipment and everything I normally do for live streams. I just decided to shoot this from the phone. <clears throat> uh, one of the things that anybody has follow, who has followed me for any stretch of time knows is that I'm about solutions. I do the research, I do the studies, I do over the course of decades. Uh, for the purpose of discovering uh, why things happen, discover how things happen, and to come up with solutions to the enigmatic and problematic uh, issues that we face consistently as a people. And one of the things that uh, is at the top, almost the top of the list, is the way that we view money, the way we deal with money, the way we uh, perceive and see money, and it has cost us dearly. Uh, there are some that say uh, because we don't have the earning potential that financial literacy isn't the problem, and I disagree. I uh, believe that <clears throat> it's not as much as how much you make as it is how much you keep and how much you understand about what it is that you're doing and, and how to do it. Um, I know a bunch of people who have five figures, five figure incomes who are living much comfortably uh, much more comfort comfortably and secure than people who have six-figure salaries simply because they understand money and they know how to operate within their means and how to utilize and uh, manage what they do have. <clears throat> uh, one of the things we have to understand is stuff s as simple as the fact that uh, the poor have no assets, uh, nothing but liabilities, and the liabilities of the middle class are literally the assets of the rich and how that turns out. One of the problems that I see is that we have failed greatly in preparing our youth to understand money, to be able to manage money, to use money as an advantage and as a leverage. We haven't taught them the basic financial principles that are going to govern how they move. Uh, we live in a debt-based uh, economy that literally advocates overspending because it's the debt that underwrites the currency. The dollar is no longer, and since 1971, 72, hasn't been underwritten by the gold standard. It's underwritten by debt. It is what drives the value of the dollar is the debt. And there are literally nations investing in the debt of this country. So uh, the debt that the poor and the middle class create become the assets of those who are rich and wealthy. And so what we have to understand is there is a process that you move through to move from the rat race or to move from being in the classification or category of uh, poverty or lower middle class into developing and building wealth. And it's not simply income. Again, um, there are people with six-figure incomes who basically are poor because they have no um, surplus. Uh, if they were to lose their jobs within a few months, they would be homeless. Uh, that's not security. That's not financial freedom. That's just a high income uh, gig that allows you to do a bunch of things and you have stretched it to the max. You have lived to your means and there's nothing that you've done with it. Whereas and there's somebody that may be making 60 or $70,000 that is living as if they were making 35 or 40, and they are using the surplus to build, to grow, to develop. What I decided to do is to head it off at the pass and, 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 and hit it where it initially hurt. I developed a guide to teaching financial literacy to children and teens. And it is the basic principles of finance. It is Finance 101. If you don't understand finance, this is a good place for you to start. But it's definitely meant to teach young people the importance of understanding finance, how things work, uh, what, you know, how to look at things from an economic perspective to get out of the consumer mindset and to get into an investor and ownership mindset. And I do it in a way that's easily understandable. Anybody can use it. Anybody can learn from it. And I also wanted to make it affordable. So I'm, I, I'm only charging $10 for it, the product. And I'm asking people to respect the fact because this is a digital product that reflect, respect the licensing on it. If you only purchase one, do not share it because we just want to cover the cost of putting it together. 
but it's ten dollars because i want everybody to be able to afford it and you can go to mcdonald's and blow ten dollars so look uh the link is in the description box check it out also for those of you who know the work we're doing in the community we're still doing the fundraiser support the work we're doing uh with the artist project specifically the work we're doing right now for black man lead and restoring ghettos forgotten daughter on that note i'm out of here you guys have an unbelievable day